So, we all know that 3D computer animation has made us tell more stories and bring more imaginations to life. And one key factor to having an appealing visual amongst all the other cogs in the wheel is material. Creating these materials can be a bit of an interesting art, which can include a bunch of know-hows. On the other hand, you might want to take a look at a free tool like Materializer, which simply takes an image and spits out different texture types. Of course, we've talked about a few tools that can help you optimize this and get them done faster. But on the other hand, this isn't accounting for the time you get to spend choosing the nodes that you get to plug in between. So, what do I have for you guys today? The idea of using a single text and generating materials used to be far-fetched. Of course, we've explored how you can use a single text and generate textures, which looks interesting. And that same idea is coming to materials. With the help of amazing tools made available by MND and Cassin Catri, Blender creators can now simply use a text and generate any type of material that they want. The whole idea about this is for you to start creating materials really quick and you can select from 256 all the way to 1K. And for those who like to get this, probably want to play with it, and see how this works, you can simply go over to the link in the description that will bring you over to Amandip's page where you can download the add-on. Next thing which you need to do is go over to Casting Cartridge's page and download Dream Textures. And how this works for Windows users is this downloads a .7z file. Now you need to unzip that to reveal the zip file that exists in there and that is what you need to install. So how you can get this all started is pretty simple. So to get started with the installation, all you need to do is open up Blender, go over to Edit, scroll all the way down to Preference, click on that, and within the Preference window, you need to go over to Add-ons, hit the Install button, and install Dream Textures. With the add-on installed, scroll all the way down and type in the word Stable Diffusion. You need to install Stable Diffusion 1.4. Now, once you hit the install button, give this a couple of minutes, depending on your internet connection, this is going to download. And once this downloads, the next thing which you need to do is to install the DT2DB. And once you install the add-on, you need to click on the install deep bump. Deep bump would automatically install once you hit that button. And within deep bump, you need to install the dependencies. And once you're done with all of that, you're ready to go. Now, if we go over to shading, right within the shader editor, if you tap N on the keyboard, you would notice that we have the deep bump, we have the DT2DB, and we have dream textures. I'll always suggest that you confirm that you have the appropriate model to work with, and once you have that ready, go over to the DT2DB section and enter a prompt. So I'm just going to type in the word wood, select the object which I want this material to be applied to, and right here you notice we have the principal BSDF. So once I have that, I can select from any of the suggestions, but we're just going to keep things simple and go all the way down. We want this to be seamless and hit the word generate. So once you click on generate, give this a couple of seconds and automatically it will use dream textures to generate the textures and it will use the DT2DB alongside the deep bump to generate all of the necessary nodes, parameters and link them up to the object. So right now you notice that we have this object and we can just simply orbit around that. And for those who like to confirm if this is also applicable to the floor, of course you can. So you can just simply click and apply this to the floor. And you can see we have all of the necessary nodes right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a copy of this sphere and I'll apply a new material to that. So once we have that, I can have that selected and I can type in the word letter. And if you'd like to play with any of the suggestions that exist here, you can also pick them. We can go all the way down. They have a couple of tags that are pre-designed for you and you can switch from 256 all the way to 1K to get some things going. And once you're ready, you can set this to be seamless if this is cool. And if you like to leave it the way it is, you can just leave that and hit the generate button. And of course you can see that we have a letter right here looking nice. So depending on what you're trying to create or what you're trying to make in terms of materials, you now have something that actually works with a single click. Some other thing to keep in mind is depending on how much iterations that you want, you can play with the steps. And for those who are thinking about playing with the maps, then you can also choose to do that. You can turn off roughness, metallic, height, normal, depending on what you're trying to create now, this doesn't stop you from using Dream Textures to create textures by default, and we've done a video about that before. So for those who would like to catch up with that, there's going to be a link in the description that can get you up to speed. And if we get back here, where we talk about the DT2DB, it's also worth mentioning that you can play with the suggestions to generate different kinds of materials at given times. You can also go over to the beauty tags where you can make some changes to the beauty tags. But one thing which I've found out is the default beauty tags are well written and they work. So this is more like it. These material generating tool sets are now available for you to pick up and start creating amazing materials directly in Blender 
with a single click of a button. And for those who are thinking about getting all of these, or potentially you'd like to get some high quality pre-designed materials, then you should consider checking out Santos Library where you can get a good number of materials as he has just updated that. While we talk about free materials that you can get, Docky3D has also released 40 of his real-time materials for free, which you can definitely go ahead and pick up and start creating stuff with. This is more like it. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.